Welcome to the short book summaries channel enjoy and subscribe if you like our work. As it was in Anna Karenina, Madame Bovary, and Othello, so it is in life. Most forms of private vice and public evil are kindled and sustained by lies. Acts of adultery and other personal betrayals, financial fraud, government corruption, even murder and genocide, generally require an additional moral defect, a willingness to lie. Harris' writing here is so clear and elegant that it might be easy for one to mistake his ideas as simple. However, while lying can be read in a sitting, it can be mulled over for a very long time. The ideas that linger are of the power of honest speech. Of his lie-related proposals, however, the most compelling is the destructive nature of the white lie, the one we tell out of compassion or embarrassment. I'm equally moved by his portrayal of plain truth-telling as a source of power and an engine of simplicity in relationships. He makes no statement without logically supporting it and provides a few examples that will resonate with a pang. Bonus, the only really correct way to answer the does this make me look fat type of question. I think it's an essential topic at a time when we've acquired so many social personas, masks, for our complex lives and, unfortunately, a little lying here and there is seeming much less shameful than it once was. Much of this short book resonated deeply with me. I believe the world would be a different place if everyone was completely honest, even with the small social lies we tell to spare the feelings of others. My mind has been dwelling on authenticity and the quandary of getting true personal criticism to become a better person, when everyone feels too awkward to give any meaningful feedback. Yet I don't want to go through life criticizing others with my personal opinions. Sam Harris provided interesting discussion on this issue without giving advice except that, in his opinion it is always better to tell the truth, come what may. 